Right, storytelling, right? This is, uh, so w w th that's the root of, of, uh, of, I guess, you know, Duck Rabbit as a company is about telling stories well. So and whether that's video, stills photography, audio, animation, you know, we'll try any, any medium, but it's gotta be a good story. Um, you know, some evolutionary scientists talk about storytelling as a sort of survival technique. You know, it's, it's something that sets us apart. Uh, you know, you've got the invention, uh, the development of language, and then you're on to storytelling, which is where we entertain each other whilst they're still at the same time imparting important life and evolutionary lessons. Um, and I guess we'd buy into that. We would say that, you know, good storytelling is endlessly attractive to audiences. And that's how you really capture them and, and hold them. Um, you know, it's opportunity to uh, vicariously inhabit the body of another human being and experience their conflicts, their, their, their life uh, through their eyes. And from that, take, uh, take a certain lesson from it. What do you think? Yeah. Is that convincing? Yeah. Sort of sounds, sounds, sounds right when I say it. Um, but no, we, we you know, uh, joking aside, that that is very much the root of, of what we're talking about. Uh, to be or not to be, that's the question. So anyway, you know, come down from the, the lofty heights and down to the practical, what are you gonna to do to make sure that somebody clicks on your film and wants to watch it and stays watching it? Because, um, you know, people's behavior on the internet is incredibly fickle. And um, there, there, uh, there is a graph, which I, I don't have unfortunately, but it uh, w demonstrates when people leave little bits of internet video, the speed at which they go, mm move on, try something else. And you've got about 10 seconds, I reckon. You've got about 10 seconds. If you haven't delivered something in 10 seconds, then uh, that's it, it's gone. And you know, we, our focus is audience, and that's a fail. So um, you've got to make every second count. And the first 10 seconds have to count. All right, so Addy's story, what is it? In the first 10 seconds, we are looking straight into the eyes of a young girl uh, and we are hearing her with mortal fear in her voice, t telling us that she thought she was going to die. So we want to know what happens, right? You want to know what happens to this woman. And that's in the first 10 seconds. Like, dump people straight into the story. And you see so many pieces where the start is, hello, my name's Peter, uh, you know, I work for Duck Rabbit, I've worked for Duck Rabbit, and, you know, I used to... Uh, uh, and that's 10 seconds I won't watch, and, and audiences won't watch that either. So... One of the things that we focus, you know, one of the many things we focus on when we're training people is to get people thinking about audience and right, what is it in that first 10 seconds that's gonna, gonna get people interested? Watch yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, uh, you know we, we talk about theatre a lot in these pieces and we use, you know, sort of Shakespeare theatre analogy. Um, this isn't reality, these are stories. They are from reality and they must be authentic and you must be fair and uh, honest to the people you portray, um, but they are stories, it's not reality. So, you know, the theatre analogy, which we go through in, in quite a lot of detail in our training courses, about thinking when you are constructing these pieces, it's a theatre, what's the stage? Who are your actors? How are they gonna interact? When are they gonna talk to the audience? Don't, you know, when are they gonna soliloquise? Um, what are the props you're using? So and when you break it down, all those elements, then you can start to build you know, something together. And there is a reason why Shakespeare is still popular. <laughs>